Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm obsessed with stickers and planning, so if you are too, you're in the right place. My channel is full of plan with me's, sticker hauls, and other planning videos. All of my videos have timestamps in the description so you can skip around to different sections and to different shops in my hauls. And if this is your 20th time listening to this intro, you can go ahead and skip this too. All my social media links, including Instagram, are in the description as well as all the supplies I use and notes about each video. The planner I'm currently using is my standard size vertical planner, which I use for decorative memory planning. I also just want to add a couple quick notes about me since I don't always remember to go into detail in my videos and for new viewers, it can be confusing. So when I mention work, I'm referring mostly to my bookkeeping position at a grocery store. And when I mention Anastasia, or Anna for short, she is my pet ball python. So let's go ahead and get started with this video, and I hope you enjoy. Alright everyone, so welcome to today's haul. We're starting off with a few little random orders from different shops, really small orders. Um, so we are going to start with Rose Colored Days because I got in a pretty chunky, exciting order of tapes. So here is her business card, Lauren from Rose Colored Days. You are living your story, that's what this says. She switches them up pretty frequently, so you never know which one you're going to get. Here is the freebie that comes with all orders, although it comes in different foil colors each time. It's just a couple of full box overlays. This one looks like it is in sparkly gold, which is super pretty. I do love sparkly gold. And then you do get a, um, let's put this over that so you can see it more. It is a clear journaling card with the next month's calendar on it. So I already did get this in the previous order. So I'll probably just be throwing this out, unfortunately. And I did notice something about her journaling cards that I didn't know previously. But they are, they do actually have this, um, this like clear protective layer of some material over them so you can see it kind of like peeling up at the end here and if I peeled it a little bit more you would actually be able to take it right off so if you see it peeling up and you're like oh no the journaling card is like broken or something that's not the case it's just this clear protective layer so you take that off and then it just looks even shinier and more clear so that's just a little fun fact for you um probably everybody else except me knows that but i just figured it out so thought i'd share that but um she also included this missing sheet from my previous order that did not show up i did order teeny bows in eight different foils but she gave me two silver and she didn't give me a copper so i just had to get this one in copper it looks very similar to her rose gold if i put it side by side with her rose gold you can not really tell a huge difference but the rose gold is slightly lighter i think than this one unless i'm wrong and she actually did give me the copper last time but not the rose gold but i don't think so because i have rose gold sheets from her and her rose gold is very coppery already so I'm just going to assume this is copper and just kind of leave it at that. But yes, here's the copper sheet of teeny bows. I love these to put on character stickers in my spreads. So that's all the little stuff. And now we have the big order. I'm going to go over the header tapes first. So these are her Halloween tapes. So these are the only Halloween tapes so far that I've bought. Um, I don't think she's had any like full box Halloween tapes out yet, I don't think. But she did come out with a set of four, I believe four, um, header overlay tapes. I'm trying to find the end here and failing miserably. Um, but these are like a bat confetti design, so there are bats in here among the confetti, and it's super cool. They're really tiny bats too, which I love. So I got the bats are always black, I'm pretty sure, but the background confetti you can get in four different colors, I believe. I know one of them is hollow. One of them that I didn't get is hollow. I don't remember what the other one was, but these are the only ones that I thought I would use. So I did get the gold confetti with the bats. That is so pretty. I don't know how well that's going to show up over glitter headers. I really don't know. So if you know of any shops that sell just like plain headers, like not glitter headers, just plain colored headers, let me know. Because I have tons of these overlay tapes that would look better over that than glitter, because the black is going to get lost in the, in the glitter headers. So 
So that I would want to try for sure. Although using this as bougie would be pretty cool too. Um, and then I got the silver with the black bats. So those are the only two colors I can really see myself using in Halloween spreads. So those are the only two bat confetti tapes that I got. Alrighty, so next we have the Beetlejuice collection right here. I don't remember the names of the original colors and I feel really bad about that, but they weren't in the invoice that she always sends because I just got the bundle of all four and so it just says bundle instead of the individual colors. But you can always check on her website, but I do love these solid glitter tapes like so much. I showed a bunch in my previous haul from her shop and these are actually pretty similar colors to ones that I already have. Um, I did get, I do have a couple of gold ones from her. This is just a more sandy gold, I feel like. I'm just going to bring out the ones that I have just to compare. Because I love comparisons. And I feel like it helps y'all. So these are the two golds that I already have. So we have this really bright, like, chunky glitter. And then here's one closer to the ones that came in this order. This is also a very sandy color, but it's like a dark sand. This one is a light sandy color. So you really do have quite the variety of golds there. But she is kind of known for She also includes a lot of light gold options like you'll see in a second but yeah this is just another kind of sandy gold i do have black which is always nice and always useful i could have used this in my last plant with me but oh well that's okay i'll you know it's a very useful color so i'm sure i'll use it again actually you know what this would like this might be like plain enough that you could layer this over this but i don't know how it well it would stick because this is solid glitter obviously i'm gonna try it at some point because experimentation purposes but let me see if there's like a little tag sticking off that I can just try it now yes there is so this does actually stick really well which is very impressive for glitter tape so um, I'll just stick it to the back of this cuz I'm gonna use these and throw it out real fast I'm literally watching the mailman come to my house right now right outside my window I hope he's bringing me stickers cuz your girl has orders coming in your girl has a lot of orders I probably have orders from 10 shops that I'm waiting on. Alright, let's see if there's a little tag. No, it looks like it was just a whole header, but I'm going to do a whole header. No, it looks like part of a header. So how well is that going to stick? Not at all. It is not sticking at all, even a little bit. I mean, it does look cool, but it's not sticking. I can press it real hard. It's not sticking. So kind of ignore that. Now one thing you could do is basically just take this header, like pretend it's a full size header, cut off a chunk at the end at, um, and kind of center it in the middle so that there's a little white space on either side. And then you could take this whole header and layer over it like this so that there is some sticky part on both ends that will stick to the paper and not the header. And basically you would just overlay it like that. Now I don't know how well this would work. I feel like it would still come up pretty easily. You'd have to like really make sure this is sticking and sticking onto the actual paper. But like theoretically, I feel like that could that could look cool. It could look pretty cool. I don't know. You know me, I'm probably gonna try that at some point because I'm always looking for ways to revolutionize my planning. But that's just my idea. If you want to try it first and let me know how that works for you, let me know. Because I want to, I don't know, I just really want that to work. But it's cool. It's cool. Oh, you know what would also work? Is her solid foil tapes. I think this is probably from another shop, but I do have some from Most Color Days. I love her solid foil tapes as well. But these, this looks even skinnier than like an actual header size. What, what shop is this even from? This is like smaller than a header. And this isn't perforated either. I don't know where this foil even came from. This is like an accent. It's clearly not meant to be a glitter or, or a header foil, but I don't know. I have it in there anyways. So here's the one from Rose Color Days. I wonder if it would stick to this better. Let's find out actually. Because this is perforated, I'm pretty sure. Yes, and there's a little tag. I haven't actually used any of these solid foils yet either. There's so much I have that I just I just need to use. I just need to, but I always have glitter headers that come in my kits, so I like never think about it. So we're gonna reuse this little header. I'm just gonna see if it's gonna stick first. 
Oh yes, so it does stick. So this is your this is your option number two if you want to get creative with these overlays that are not going to look good over glitter. Just put it over a solid foil. Obviously the the gold on the gold isn't going to show up. So let me see if there's a little tag off of the silver because that could be a really cool mixed metal look. And yes, there is. So let me just grab that tag. Oh man, this would be so cool to do. I like I have to remember to do this. I'm gonna immediately forget, but y'all gotta remind me when I start doing Halloween spreads. Y'all gotta remind me that this is an option because. Look at that gorgeous mixed metal. I haven't seen anybody do anything like this, but y'all feel free to use this idea because that looks good. Anyways, so I think that's enough of playing with um, playing with our headers, although I could do this all day because I have like so many different kinds of headers now. Um, and the other two I have are purple. So I do, actually I only have one purple tape and I don't even think it's from Rose Color Days. I forget where it's from, it might be from Rose Color Days. Who knows? I have one purple tape already. I would try to pull it out, but it does not want to cooperate out. There it is. Yeah, this is not from Rose Color Days because it's got cardboard in there. Don't know who this is from, but this is still a nice tape. I just haven't used it. There's obviously some discoloration there because I unfortunately kept it too close to the sun. I need to find a way to protect my um, because like I'm I film right in front of a window and I have a curtain there, but I feel like it's not doing its job. Like, the sun somehow finds a way to get behind the curtain and discolor my tapes. It's super annoying. But anyway, it's this is a good tape. I haven't used it yet. It's a little bit skinny for a glitter header tape. But I don't mind a skinny glitter header because it leaves more room for actual stuff in your day. Anyway, so that's the purple I already have. So it is a lighter purple than the two that I just got, so that's good. I have more variety in my purples. But gosh, do I have a lot of purple glitter tapes. I have a very limited number of glitter tapes. I have like three golds now, three purples, one silver, and then a black and a brown. So, kind of annoying. But anyway, so these are the two purples. You get a really nice bold purple here. This is going to go with a lot of the Halloween kits that have come out this year. None of which I think I've bought yet, but you know, it's coming. And then here is a much lighter one as well, but more like a medium. It's kind of almost like a plum purple a little bit. So, there's your purple options, and then it's the Beetlejuice collection. I love that. I forget who named it. I think it was Carolyn. Carolyn Plans, who was talking to Lauren, and she, like, had the name for that, which is, like, perfect, I think. I need to watch Beetlejuice this year. Y'all gotta remind me of that, too. I've seen it once a long, long time ago. I don't remember really that much about it. I have all the Beetlejuice stickers. I have the kit from the clip art that came out last year. I have the sheet of Beetlejuice character stickers from Pumpkin Paper Co. I've got it all. Now I've got the whole Beetlejuice collection. I just do not remember that movie enough, and I don't even know if I like it that much. So I'm going to watch it this year. I'm going to use the kit. We're going to see if I'm a Beetlejuice fan, because everybody else seems to be. All right, now let's get into the main event of the Rose Colored Days order, which is oh, all these bougie tapes. Now, if y'all know me, I'm obsessed with bougie tapes. I'm obsessed with bougie, but like bougie tapes I just I love them I love the variety that you get from different shops I have a lot of different kinds I've got a couple here that I'm gonna show y'all in a minute um, I'm not including any um, references to girl boss and a bougie tapes in this video I did place an order so y'all will see in maybe this video later or the next video um, but in this section I'm not going to include that because those are like very secondary bougie tapes to me those are like backup like if I run out of hollow bougie tapes in like one of these three people these three three shops if i run out then i'm gonna use the girl boss anna because that, that confetti is not just like plain confetti it's like it's got stars in there like and it's a little bit more spaced out so i'm not going to show you all that but i am going to show you the three kind of main bougies that i use um it's actually really only two main bougies that i use i only have the spc bougie here just as like because I happened to have it on hand because I ran out of gold and that was the only way I could get gold real fast. I didn't know that she was going to release these super fast, but um, now that I have this, I'm going to probably use this as my main my main one. So, see what we got here. So she finally did a restock. This is Confetti 2.0. This is not her original one, which is 1.0. I don't remember what that one was like because I was too slow to get it. I just like wasn't on the ball, but I believe the Confetti was a lot bigger and more spaced out probably more similar to the Sticky Essentials, which I will unroll in a second. But this is Confetti 2.0, which I feel like is going to be a lot closer to the SPC um, bougie, 
which is like really tiny confetti really close together so i feel like that's what this is which i like to be fair i like all confetti like i love the i love the sticky essentials because it's bigger i love this because it's smaller i just i love all of it like i'm a bougie girl so i yeah like i said i ran out of gold so i just needed this and i just decided i'm just gonna get all of it because I just don't want to be in that situation where I run out again and have to order like sheets like I, I just love these tapes so I got the bundle of all six so we have gold silver rose I don't know why I don't have these in an appropriate order gold silver rose gold hollow the classic four and we have light gold like I said she is including light gold a lot as an option now which is super cool I like light gold I don't have a ton of opportunities to use it like I'll never think oh this spread will look better with light gold than gold but I feel like now that I have a whole tape, like I'm gonna have to think about that. And the one that I was super excited for was this rainbow tape right here. Rainbow bougie tape is just so revolutionary to me. I'm obsessed with it. There's not that many spreads I think that would call for a rainbow bougie tape, but the ones that d there are that do call for it, it's gonna it's gonna look fire. It's gonna be amazing. So can't wait for when that happens. Yeah, this is really tiny confetti, super tiny, super close together, which is great, which is what I want from a bougie. Let's get some, let's get some paper behind this. Just gonna use that. So it's very hard to see the actual colors because the confetti is so tiny and kind of spaced apart a little bit. So it's kind of hard to see. And there is no red in this. I feel like red would really revolutionize the rainbow. However, if you keep ordering more rolls of the rainbow, there are some variations that have the red. I just happen to get the variation that doesn't have the red, which I'm fine with because it has basically all the other colors and it still looks like a rainbow, just, you know, without the red, which is fine. So it's still going to go with rainbow, like, kits and spreads and stuff. But yeah, so we have just a little faint bit of orange, so not much orange either, but we have yellow, green. I feel like these, these could have been a lot smaller, so maybe for a rainbow, rain, rainbow. <laughs> rainbow 2.0 maybe she'll do um a lot skinnier of the strips for the colors so we have some yellow some green blue indigo and then a tiny sliver of violet in there too so that's my variation of it other people have different variations so i suggest watching other people's hauls to see which ones they got this is just my first variation though and i do love it a lot so yeah let's go ahead and do a comparison so this confetti is probably more similar to the Scroll Prince Co. Bougie than I've seen out there. It's about the same size, except it is all the dots are the same size, it looks like. SPC, you've got some big dots, some tiny dots, which I actually like almost a little bit more. But these are all just like the same size of dots, which is totally fine, but that's just a little um, comparison, so you can see what the differences are between the two. Like I said, I love all bougies, so it is all a-okay. Now I am going to show you the Sticky Essentials bougie as well, just for more comparison sake. I did, like I said, get all the pre-sale tapes in all the four main colors, so I will have a full set of these as well, but I do have some left over from the first batch, so here's one that I'm going to show you. So this confetti, as you can see, is a lot bigger. They are all the same size, but they are a lot bigger and they're a little bit more spaced apart as such. So there's a little comparison between the two right there. So there you go. Again, there's a time and place for both. But of course, I will use anything as bougie. So there is that, the beautiful rainbow tape. I did just recently see that Girl Boss Anna has a rainbow tape as well, and I did place an order for that. I don't often order from Girl Boss Anna because like her tapes are just so niche that like I don't see myself using a lot of them but um the rainbow one I was like I, I just need more rainbow now that everybody's doing it the more rainbow tapes the better so you'll see that one in a you know at a later date but um this is the rainbow that I have right now so I am probably just gonna unroll the gold because it's just the classic color and I'll just show you that I'm not gonna unroll all of them because you'll easily be able to see or get an idea of what the other ones look like but I do seem to reach for gold the most, so we're just going to look at that. And it might be a little bit easier to see than the rainbow, which was a lot of different colors. So there is the gold. I, I realize I'm putting it over shiny, shiny cello, which is not very helpful to you at all. And the glare. I do have the blinds open, so 
it is going to be a little bit of glare, but that's all right. You get the gist of it. There's the gold. So I am going to go through that tape so fast. So that is the amazing Confetti 2.0 collection from Most Colored Days. I wonder if she'll do a 3.0. I wonder what that will be. It's kind of exciting. But yeah, I love that she did a bundle of six, not just a bundle of the classic four, which I did buy for my friend Sage because she needed them. Um, and I was worried they would sell out. I'm surprised she didn't want the rainbow though. I'm obsessed with it. Although again, like how often are you going to use it? Not that, not, not often. But yeah, the, um, the inclusion of the light gold and the rainbow, just, I just love the bundle. The more the merrier. And I am so obsessed with Bougie and the fact that she's like branching out into more creative Bougies that I'm hoping she's going to do all the fun colors at some point. Like I want a, a blue Bougie tape. I want a red and a green. I already asked her to do the red and green for her Christmas collection. She's like, yeah, of course she's going to do that because it's going to sell really well. And then she's going to go and do all the colors at some point. So I'm going to be stocked up on Bougie tapes for life. I'm so excited about that. But yeah, this is a great starting place. So that is Rose Colored Days. Now, I do have one more foil bit that I will show you. This is a wiggle from Scroll Prints Co. It is a misfit. This is the Aqua Prism misfit, I believe. I didn't get this when it came out and it sold out really fast. I wanted the bonfire one a little bit more, but um, when I saw this listed in the buy sell trade, I kind of had to jump on it because it's just really pretty. I love blues. I love blue foils. Shades of blue foil are amazing, and it's gorgeous. Just look at the prism. Prism just makes everything better. It's like so. It looks like a gemstone. I'm just. I'm really obsessed with foil lately. So this is her new format. So you've got a lot. The reason this was a misfit is because it's a little bit foil dirty. You can see a lot of the little foil bits around there. They're not so much like in the actual stickers. Like there's not so much in the script. Although there's a little bit, but like. Oh yeah, that's like way foil dirty. But like, I don't care at all. I don't care. It's cool enough to me to have scripts in a wiggle that I'm just going to use them anyway. Oh, and look at that solid foil. That just makes, that just really stands out. So this is basically like a whole wiggle that I would just use normally. So let me just briefly go through it because I'm sure y'all have seen this many times. This is a twinkle format, which is the best format. So you've got your little twinkle dots as Tiny Deco, which I love. I'm super obsessed with Tiny Deco, especially when it's bows. <laughs> Y'all know. Here we have our food and drinks sampler. Again, not all of her food and drinks are represented here. Or I think all her food is not all her drinks. But um, got a good sampling of both. Her circle icons and date dots. Scripts. Weekend banner and working in my feelings are all exclusive to her wiggles. And our cutout icons and some labels, bottom washi, twinkle confetti, and solid bows, and then you get six of these sheets, which are the normal headers, header overlays, half cut headers, which are perfect for bougie, um, which is just a cool idea to me, even though I haven't used any half cut headers from Wiggles as bougie yet. I feel like I could make it work. And then you get two full box overlays there. Well, I say two, but you technically get 12. So, gorgeous format, gorgeous foil. I don't have an idea right now of what I would use it for, this particular color. If you have ideas, let me know. If you've seen things in my hauls lately that this would go well with, or if you have just like any idea of my collection. I haven't done a whole collection video yet, although I will once I get my organization straight. I'll show you my whole collection, um, and then y'all can tell me what you think this would go with, or if you see something that I haven't bought yet that you think that would go well with, let me know. So real quick, I have to finish this before I get to work, but um, I have a, an order from Glam Planner to go over. This is a really tiny order. This I only ordered basically just to get the Salem kit because she added it to the shop. She only had 35 left from last year. It was like a mystery kit. I think, possibly, but she just relisted the ones that she had left on the shop, um, so you had to be fast to grab it, so I got it during work, and I was so glad that I got it super fast, but then she did an annoying thing and just listed it normally in the shop that weekend, and I was like, great, now I literally took time away from work to buy this kit, and now she's just listing it like normal, so I wouldn't even have to be fast for it, but I'm not that mad because I got it, and that's really all that matters. 
So this is the Salem kit. It is based, I think, on Sabrina, possibly, because I know that there's a black cat in Sabrina, um, The Shilling Adventures of Sabrina, I think is what this is mostly referencing, um, and I think the black cat's name is Salem. I haven't watched it yet, but I feel like I would like it, and I do have a whole kit for that already, so I better like it. It's another thing I have to watch this year. So this could be like kind of vaguely referencing that because there's a black cat, but also just like anything witchy, anything Salem, you know, anything like that. So I'm kind of into those vibes and I just love the colors of this kit. So we've got some like herbs and stuff going on over here. Got the cutie little black cat with the orange eyes. Got some books over here, spells, potions, magic, and witchcraft and the hat, like the hat, like the boots. Got some, I think tarot cards right here, some kind of cards. Look at all her pretty rings. This amazing double box scene, lots of greenery in there. And then a sign that says entering Salem. This is the Lux version of the kit. So we have our check boxes, two alternative boxes with alternate skin tones. Then we have functional scripts and deco little things. This is old format still and washi and headers and bottom washi and date covers then additionally you get the tall fashion girls right here which are gorgeous i love their outfits and they are supposed to be like witches probably very nice which one will i use i like that one best and then the double box is this one right here which is just basically the outside of a house it's kind of like a farmhouse with a little silo. Very cool. Our label add-on, and then our glitter headers right here. Very cool. I just love the aesthetics of this kit. And there is foil that goes over it as well. This is in gold. Should have been orange, but gold is A-OK -okay as well. Now here's the fun game of me trying to figure out which full boxes this goes over, because I have not seen a video where she has gone over it, if that even exists. But I think this one goes over the cat, pretty sure. Um, don't think that one... So this one probably goes over this box right here because it covers up the floor pattern. Yeah, this one definitely goes over the sign. And then this one... Nope. Yeah, so this one goes over the floor pattern over here. Now I just have to remember that when I actually use it. Yeah, I don't know why gold was a choice, because gold isn't really anywhere in this kit. I don't know why it's on there, too. It's not in the full boxes at all. It's not in any of them. But it's okay. I'm just going to pretend it's like a really orangey gold. So I am going to leave this out, because the only other thing I bought in this order, which I made sure to preload my cart with, was the double box extenders. Now, these are especially made to fit the double boxes from Glam Planner. She's the only person I know that includes these, like, normally with her luxe kits or with her like full-size kits um not many shops even have these as an option at all i know that paper candy art does i don't know the sizing so i'll have to compare that sizing to this sizing and i have used one before from i think frenchy mom boutique yes that has had a double box as well so i don't know the sizing of those compared to these so i don't know if these double box extenders will wo will work but i will probably try to find a way to make them work anyway um I mean, I can't imagine they're going to be that different. If anything, I feel like this will be the biggest and I can just trim it down for other shops, but who knows. But yeah, I just love this as an option because it would be really hard to fit in a double box a double box, just normally in a kit without using any kind of extender because it's going to take up a ton of real estate. You're going to have to trim your bottom washi, your, well, for it to be like normal and not interfere with that much of your day. Um, you would have to trim the bottom washi, which I hate doing, or you would just have to have it cover up two day boxes and then you would only have one day box for activities. You could use an extender, make it two or even three day boxes, but like that just seems like a pain. And I like more real estate to mark activities down than less. So this whole day extender just seems like the best thing to do or the double box extender seems like the best thing to do because then you can have this down and then you get literally a whole day's worth of extra space, not including 
the part at the top. Now to get a better idea of this, you should see Elle's plan with me is because she does, she has used at least one of these and I've seen how it works and it looks amazing. You get so much space with these. So I just had to get them. I have 10 here, I think. Now I have a lot more kits with them than I have egg centers, but I'll just, or double box egg centers, but I'll just buy more if I need to. Um, I don't even think I've used any from her shop, so when I get to that point, I will have those. But um, yeah, to get a better idea of that, I will check out her her plan with me's. Um, but yeah, it just seems like the coolest idea ever, and I'm so glad that she came out with these because I do make my own day extenders. Like here's an example of a day extender that I just make out of printer paper for normal size boxes. But it would just be I feel like more of a pain to do it with for the double boxes. So I'm just glad that those are already pre-made. So that was just a super cool thing, and I can't wait to use that because I am big on extenders just like I am big on bougie. So that is it for this section of the haul and let's go ahead and get into the next one. Okay so for this last part of the haul I have a pretty medium sized order from Keytown and then a couple of smaller random orders here. So I am going to start with the smaller first just to kind of get it out of the way. So I have an order from Girl Boss Anna here, and let's make it sparkle. So first I am gonna do this because it's just one tiny little thing. And here is the, oops, just dropped it. Here's the kind of little card. It's, I guess, a business card, I guess, from Let's Make It Sparkle. It says less is more. This is the first and probably only thing I have bought and will buy from Let's Make It Sparkle because I looked through their shop and nothing really stood out to me, but I liked their new kind of desk collection, like desk organization and stuff like that. Um, and this is the only thing that I really wanted to buy from them, so I didn't really save their shop anywhere um, to look at in the future, although I am following them on Instagram, so if they come out with more stuff like this, I guess, or something that interests me, I will go back. But um, this is the only thing that really caught my eye. And of course it is a gold ruler. It is only, I think four inches, or it measures only four inches. And I like the packaging here with this little label on the cello, which is the perfect size to fit it. Let's have it more in tension. I know it's surprising seeing something that isn't stickers in one of my hauls, especially when it's still from a sticker shop. There are stickers in the shop, let's make it sparkle gonna break it because I'm not I'm just gonna throw it away anyway but um I just had to get this to add to my collection of little planning tools that I have which isn't a lot I actually have most of them on this little tray here this is an Alice in Wonderland themed tray I have a set of three of these um, one is currently in use the other one is not and then this one is in use for my little planning stuff so I have my gold tweezers that I use here. These are my favorites. This came in a set of two. Um, one of them was just the like sickle point tweezers instead of the flat bottom tweezers like I have. I am giving those to Sage because she needs tweezers and I want us to be matchy matchy. I also bought one of these for her by the way. Um, and then a slice tool which I don't use that often. It really annoys me because I can never, I always cut through the entire paper with that. Um, white out and my short scissors which are really good for cutting the stickers as opposed to my big scissors which are good for cutting packaging which is basically what, what I use. I didn't really intend for this to be like a little planner tool like um, video or haul section but I just thought I'd go over it now. I, I still have to do a tour of like all my stuff but um, I also have this washi card which is actually my old library card that I just put leftover washi on so I don't feel like I'm wasting it and I use this to cut washi although um, I'm thinking I might try to use this ruler for that. I don't have like a washi cutter yet. I know Fox and C Cactus has a lot and I may get one of those eventually just to have all the fun tools but for now I might try to just use this ruler and see how that works. I think it might work pretty well and then my undo is over there as well although that's too big to fit on the tray. So this I will add to my collection as well. I have of course a t-square ruler which is clear which I use for all of my like serious measuring but this I feel like would be useful for just like in the course of like planning a spread um, because in case you haven't noticed I have started in my new um, like standard size vertical planner that um, 
that like doesn't have the like the little day boxes that are perfectly delineated so you do have to kind of be careful about how you line your stickers up when you're putting down your full boxes first and everything and your bougie boxes you have to like line things up across the across the way and I feel like a ruler would be perfect for that um, so I have this for that even though like it has measurements on it and I don't think I would need measuring for that necessarily um, I have this, you know, just for that purpose, just so I can line up, you know, two boxes next to each other. Um, but it also has four inches on it that I can use if I need to somehow measure out the height of, um, like a full box. So that would be like right about here. Then I would just have that. And I don't have to carry around a whole bulky ruler, you know, during my plan with me. So, and this of course can be used for washi cutting as well. So it's got, you know, there's like three uses right there. So, and it's just this gorgeous gold metal, and I'm obsessed with it. I just love gold things. So now I have the gold ruler, I have the gold tweezers, probably going to get a pair of gold, like nice gold, like sewing scissors or something. Probably not sewing scissors, just gold scissors that would work well for cutting stickers. Just, I'll try to make everything gold, and you know, probably going to spray paint this gold too or something. I don't know. I did buy a lot of gold spray paint when I was younger and lived with my parents, and I like tried to spray paint all of my um like all of my kitchen containers like I would buy plastic containers from the container store just to decant food into and I would spray paint some of it gold to make them all matchy matchy and I was obsessed with that so you all know I still got that gold spray paint I might use it but I just I love this ruler so much I know I've talked for like five minutes straight on this little ruler and other small things but this just makes me happy and it has a hole in it so in case I ever need to Put it somewhere or like hang it somewhere like on a hook i have that option oh yeah that reminds me i also have this gold little case that can fit i think in a planner although i'm not really sure what size planner this would fit in and i don't really use it in a planner i just kind of have it sitting around but just to further my um gold obsession i have this to put things into although i don't use it because i have them in, i have all my planning accessories in a little tray so you know, in case I ever need to bring my stuff somewhere, I have a little gold, like, pouch, too. So, anyways, there is that. And now let's get into the next tiny little thing, which is this one single tape from Girlboss Anna. Here is the journaling card. The journaling cards always get, like, super bent when they're being shipped with... Um, like washi tapes or overlay tapes like you can see the imprint of it there well, I don't know why it would be like that I don't know clearly it like no it must have been like that it got bent somehow and like all my Simply Gilded journaling cards are bent all my Girl Boss Santa ones are bent so I am probably just going to de-stash this it says life is tough but so are you I like that I like the yellow color but and the hollow foil too is fun but yeah I just I don't like it enough to use it even if it's bent, so I'm just going to de-stash that. And I know that Simply Gilded, Irene will, I think, send you a new journaling card if yours is bent and you want the journaling card, but I don't know, I've never really wanted to do that. But she has great customer service in terms of that, I have heard. So I placed this one order just to get this tiny little tape because I saw it on Instagram. I saw this rainbow tape. It looks gorgeous. Wait till you see it unrolled. But I saw this rainbow tape, and this was just after I had bought the Rose Colored Days rainbow, like, bougie box tape. And that one I noticed did not include all the colors of the rainbow in, like, a single tape. Like, it depended on where you got it in the spectrum. So mine doesn't have any, like, red or orange, really, and only a little bit of, like, violet. So I was like, okay, that's fun. I like that bougie, like, confetti pattern, but, like this is round one and so I'm sure that in round two she's gonna include one with like all the rainbow on it she's gonna make the the colors a little bit smaller so that you can fit more onto one tape but in the meantime I saw this one and I was like hey this one looks a little better it looks like you it's like a diagonal pattern so you get all of the colors on one like box so I needed that one as well and this is a different like bougie like confetti pattern it's a lot more widely spread, so it's not gonna look as good for bougie. It would look great as an overlay though, like I might even use it as an overlay tape instead of an underlay, but um, it's just there as an option. 
So let me see what we got here in one box. All right, let me grab some white to use as a background. Let's use this, which is a sneak peek for probably the next haul. Anyways, let's zoom in because I want to hold it closer to the white. But um, oh, there we go. There's a good angle right there. So let's see. Uh-oh, looks like some of the red is cut off. So the design, the design is a little bit wider, I think, a little bit bigger than the full box area, which could be a little bit of an oversight. I hope she also does a second version where she makes it a little bit tighter, more tightly packed, so the confetti is a little bit closer together, because I think that would also work better in like a bougie box kind of way as well. But so our red is mostly hanging out over here, so it's a little bit off the area, but you do get like two confetti pieces that are red and you get a few more that are orange a few more that are like gold right there there's the green I like how green's right in the middle because you get most of it green is my favorite color and then we're getting to the blues got some light blue so that's kind of fun dark blue indigo which is really just like a dark purple and then I guess it turns into like pink. So it's just purple and then pink. Now does the pink turn into red is my question. I think it does. So this pattern is clearly a lot more wide than I expected. I'm trying to find the right angle so you can see. There it is. Yeah, so the pink does turn into red. But yeah, so the first box has kind of a good smattering of all the colors but the second box here not so much second box you don't have any yellow which I think is a bit of a loss but the thing is the good part about this is you can use many of these boxes like as bougie in one spread and you get the representation of all the colors because the different colors on a different box the problem with the rose color days one and I'm gonna go ahead and get that out to show you the problem with this is that there's no red or orange whatsoever. So it's not like a diagonal pattern where you're gonna have some on another box. Like there's none on this entire roll whatsoever. So I don't get red or orange in my rainbow. Just these kind of four, four and a quarter colors. There's like a tiny bit of orange up there, but not really enough to be noticed. So that's why, you know, you wanna order multiple of these just to get more variation um, however, they had, they did sell out really fast within like, I think a few hours or maybe in a few minutes. I don't know. I ordered mine the first minute, so I got this, but if you wanted like all the colors for certain, you would have had to like just order multiples and hope you got different variations of it. But again, I'm just holding out for a rainbow confetti 2.0 where she actually gets all the colors in one spread or one tape because clearly it's possible. She just uses way too much of like one color on there and honestly that just might be the foil that she found but clearly there's foils out there where you can get like more colors closer together so hopefully that's going to be an option that she will find but anyways this is my other option for rainbow foil and honestly I might just go hog wild and use both of these tapes in a spread as bougie because you won't really be able to tell that much of a difference and it just makes it fun to mix things up. So that is my little tiny order from Girl Boss Anna, who I don't really order from a lot. You will not see her a lot in my hauls because it's mostly just kind of like niche stuff like this, like only a few like random like foil choices and the designs are also kind of all over the place and she doesn't release very frequently either. So it's not like your main foil tape shop, which would be Rose Color Days. So well, there you go. Anyways, now let's go ahead and finish off with Keytown. So I do have a lot of kits here. This was, of course, a final stock order because that's pretty much 100% of my orders these days with Keytown. Every time something goes into the final stock section and he has a sale for it, I'm going to like jump right over there. I'm going to pick up all the kits that are on my wish list. I don't actually have an official wish list. I just go through them all and see what I want, see what I had wanted, and then I just add them to my cart. Um, and just, I grab everything at a really good price. And you know, why not? Because I don't ever need any of those kits like right away. 
so it benefits me to just wait until they're in final stock and get them at an amazing price because I do like to get the like full kit versions I forget what it's called in Keytown shop but um it's like not the legendary kits which include like everything plus extras sometimes I'll get that if it's like the extras are something I would use but a lot of the time they're not so I just get like the full kit which just has everything except the glitter headers and I throw those in um so I have one two three four five kits like that in here and this is the freebie so I guess this is the August freebie because it is for September so it's just like thinking ahead. So we have, it's September. I do like to use these. Labor Day, Coffee for Days. That's me all the time, every time. <laughs> Rut Row, that's hilarious. Um, make a new playlist, meal prep, fire pit and I, ooh no, open flame terrifies me. And then these cute little icons right here. I love these, like, I love the mushrooms. I love mushrooms a lot. There's a lot of other fun fall stuff in there too. So let's get into the actual orders. So we have, these are actually like 100% Disney kits, and four of them are princess kits. So let's go over the one that's not a princess kit first, which is the Aristocats one. Although, Marie is my little pretty princess. I love her so much. She's literally my idol. She's like the perfect, perfect cute kitty cat. So this is the Aristocats kit. I love the movie Aristocats um, so much. The music from it is great. It's got cats as the main characters, which are my favorite animal. Um, the story is really cute and heartwarming. It's really just everything. I mean, it's not perfect. There's some, like, kind of, um, questionable stuff in it, as with a lot of older Disney movies, so we just kind of turn a blind eye to that, but, yeah, there's, like, kind of some racial stereotypes going on, but it's still a good movie other than that, so I do love Aristocats and Marie, and I buy stickers with the movie and Marie and then whenever I see them so I do have the Marie kit from Scroller Prince Co which I super duper love and I love this one as well this was the original like Aristocats kit that I ever saw and I fell in love with it so this is like the very first one that was kind of on my mental wish list for this shop although I am a little bit disappointed in the quality I feel like it looks better on my screen than it does in person like this looks almost like too watercolory to like look good on a glossy sticker like this. Um, I feel like it could have been done a lot better. The lines could be sharper. It could at least look like a water watercolor instead of like someone made a copy of a photo, which is kind of what this looks like. Like you lose that kind of quality, but overall, like look look at that. Like it looks just kind of grainy a little bit. Can't you see that? It, like the lines don't look sharp enough at all but I think it's okay it's um it's good enough for me it's still really pretty it's a nice theme I love the florals everywhere so we have one of Marie's best lines in the movie for the quote box ladies don't start fights but they can finish them <laughs> oh that's so cute Marie's like she's got so much sass and her little pink bow I love it. And then we have the Eiffel Tower because it does take place in Paris. Um, so that is a box of tea. tea. And we have the front of a building. We have the cats on the piano, which is like my instrument. So there's another thing I like about Aristocats. Um, florals and then a bench and a lamppost. So I, yeah, I do love the watercolor floral vibes. I just feel like this is the wrong format for that. Anyways, so here's the rest of the kit. Uh-oh. So I like the date covers. I don't like the deco because sometimes Keaton does this thing where he uses different art for the full boxes and the deco. And it just ends up looking weird. So I can understand why in a lot of cases, because this art clearly was not from the clip art set. I definitely think he kind of pulled this together from a lot of things, took some prints off the internet most likely, which he does with a lot of stuff I feel like. We're all still going to buy that, but like it doesn't come with like isolated clip art elements that could be used for deco, so he 
probably just goes on Etsy and is like looking for a bunch of cutesy Aristocats clip art. Like I've seen a lot of clip art sets that kind of have this style, so that's what I'm assuming happened here. Obviously, it's they're still really cute cats, and I will use them as deco even if they don't match the style. But it's a choice I do not prefer. But yeah, so we have. Let's see. I can remember their names now. Or now, um, Duchess Marie. Um, I can remember the end of his name and then the middle of his name, and I can never remember the beginning of his name. Um, Abraham DeLacy, Giuseppe Casey, Thomas O'Malley. O'Malley the Alley Cat. So that's his name. I did it. I remembered it backwards, but I remembered it. Um, one of these cats' names is Toulouse. I think the other one is Berlioz. There we go. I remembered it. I don't know why I can remember all those. Probably because they're French and I know a little bit of French. Um, but yeah, I also love how the music notes are the deco and the bows and the macarons and the paw prints of course but the macarons are like really cute so there's that i'm i also like i said i really love those date covers so that works for me the um the pretty pastel pink of the date covers or date dots also works so it's a choice oh i like that little double box scene right there it's like a tall double box scene i really don't know why why this is the size of box that Keaton chooses to add to his like larger kits because this is just a weird box size. You could have a double box scene that is one box altogether, but like he didn't have to make it like an extra half inch. Let me get out my new handy dandy ruler and find out exactly how much bigger it is than a normal box. I don't like how the inches is on this side instead of this side because like I could go like that, but no, I can't go like that. I have to go like this. So, where does it even start now? So it's about like a quarter of an inch, I think. Quarter of an inch taller than a normal full box, and I really don't know why that was the choice to make. It's not even like a tall box, which would be like that. It's like, I have no idea, but oh well, as long as the width is the same, that's really all that matters. That's what, that's what extenders are for. Anyway, I still like that box a lot. And then we have some scripts here, a weekend banner, some icons. Those are some really big icons, just saying. I have used maybe one or two at most Keytown kits, so I'm not too used to this format. It is a little weird, but Keaton does a lot of kits that are from, like, fandoms that aren't represented in other shops. Like... Stroll Prince Co. has a Marie kit for the Aristocats, but I don't think a ton of other shops do. So there's our checklists. Our little things. He does include a lot of those, so I like that. The headers. And there's the dinners one, which is the only one I use. Oh, I love this. So our bottom washi, which is just fantastic. I, I do love the floral elements, and I love how much of them is brought out in the rest of the kit. We have just an absolute ton of washi strips right there which is also just wonderful and I will try to incorporate those in as many places as possible. I feel like he started with the floral, like he found some floral papers and he started with those and he kind of just incorporated some like Aristocats art or like Paris themed art like on top of that which I feel like was a good choice. Like I'm into that. And then I also bought the glitter headers add-on so we get 28 of those headers. I assume it's 28. I've never actually counted. Yeah, it's 28. And then two extra quarter boxes, flags, and some icons there. So that is the adorable Aristocats art. I'm glad I did this haul on it. I mean, I haul pretty much everything, but I'm glad I had the chance to talk it out because a lot of times when I'm doing a haul and I talk things out, like with y'all, and I talk about it out loud and I like force my brain to reason through things and why I'd like them and dislike them, which is the whole point of hauls. It kind of makes me change my mind on a lot of things that I wasn't so sure about. I mean, more often than not, I convince myself, now I've like locked myself out of here, I convince myself that I like something more than I originally did when I looked at it or like when I got it in person, you know, such as in this case, when I was a little bit disappointed, but then I look through it and I'm like, no, I still really like this kit, and I'm really glad I got it, and I can't wait to use it. So, there you go. Now I'm happier about it than I was before, and that's always a good thing. So, these hauls are helping me too, y'all. 
So which kit shall we go over next? So two of these are in the same style that is used in a lot of places, so we'll push those off to the side. This is a different style altogether, and so is this. This is one you've already seen before. So we're going to go over this one. I did accidentally buy a double of art that I've already got in a kit. So this is Coffee Doodles Co. Art, I'm pretty sure, because she always does the exact same face for all of her women. Almost all of them. Um, but I do have her version of this kit, which is a Rapunzel kit, um, specifically Tangled themed. So I do have her version of it. However, this kit does include, I think, at least one or two full boxes in like better forms than the pre than the Coffee Doodles Co. one. So I'm actually pretty happy having both. Like I don't mind at all. I'm fine having both um, because I like the format of I think Coffee Doodles Co. better. Although I haven't used one for kits yet. Just glancing at it, I like the format better. But um, these full boxes are a little bit better. So. Can all, you can never have enough Rapunzel kits. I actually think of all the princesses rep that I have kits for, Rapunzel is pretty far down on the list of like how many kits I have per princess. Merida is also pretty low, but I have another one in here for her as well. Um, Moana is definitely low, although there's a few more on my wish list. I don't know. I'm not going to make a chart for y'all right now. That'd be a fun thing to do on my Instagram, though. I do like kind of fun stuff like that on my Instagram a lot. So if you aren't already following me, um, go check out my Instagram. It is aliciacraft9799, and there's a lot of fun stuff in the Instagram stories. If you watch my plan with me's, though, like, all my actual posts are pretty much going to be the same as what is at the end of my plan with me's, so just a warning, but the stories is where the fun stuff is. So, let's actually go over this kit. So, here we have Princess Rapunzel right here and her adorable braided hair. I love that. I love the intricacy of that. Um, here we have just some kind of close-ups of the clip art. We have a frying pan, of course, her crown, the little um, Rapunzel Mickey ears, the lantern scene, the snuggly duckling sign, the paints and books, and then the magical flower. Don't ask me to remember what the flower is called, although I'm sure I've seen a video on it recently. I forget. It's just the magic flower. So there's that. I really like the way she's drawn, except I feel like it looks like she's wearing a wig. Like, that doesn't look like her real hair. Like, something about it doesn't sit right on her head, and I just think that's really funny, but that's what I've always thought about it. <laughs> it just doesn't look real. <laughs> Not least because she still has black eyebrows. Like, now it definitely looks like fake hair. Like, at least it's dyed but it looks like a wig. <laughs> Let me know if you agree, because, like, it doesn't look, she looks like she's in costume. Like, she literally looks like one of those Disney cast members who has to be a princess at Disney World. Like, it looks fake. It looks like she's in a costume. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So here we have the next functional page. I love these little, like, elements here, because I always put, like, a piece of deco in this exact part of the um, sidebar tracker if it doesn't already have one. So here it's already got one. So like, I like that. These two gorgeous flags. Oh, here we have a movie marquee. I don't even think the Aristocats had a movie marquee. I feel like that was in like an old format maybe. I don't remember, but it's not like I don't have enough movie marquees because I have a ton of extras because I watch so many movies that I have to buy sheets of them when I see them. I love that, um, those date covers. The deco is good. It is actually, um, appropriate and matches the same clip art style. Although that one feels like a little bit of a cop out because that is literally just that box, just made smaller. So I don't know about that, but it was a choice. It was a choice. Then we have our boxes, checklists. See, these are the type that I can't cut up to make little things. So I'm definitely gonna de-stash those. And then we have washi and headers. This is definitely a different style because our little things are on this page and I feel like there's more of them which is always good. So little things, there's some labels down there. I feel like I just recently used a kit. Yeah, the very last plan with me that I filmed, the Joker plan with me, was a key town kit as well. So that's why this looks familiar because that was the same format as this. So there's our bottom washi. Did this? Yeah, the other kit came with bottom washi. I'm like, starting to be paranoid of things that were missing from that kit, but I don't think anything's really missing. 
And then here we have the glitter header alums, but they're actually shattered glass headers. The other shop that does this is Craning & Co. So this is kind of fun to see another shop doing shattered glass headers. And then we have some more boxes, flags, and little stars. I love the stars because they're like little deco as well, as opposed to the icons, which I don't really use. So yeah, definitely was a good choice to get this kit, especially at such a good discount. I don't remember exactly what the price of these kits were um, with the discount, but it was something like insanely cheap, like $15 or something. I don't know. But for that many stickers, like that's a lot. So it's good. It's a good deal. So now let's go over the one in the unique art style, which looks very hand-drawn. Like it was drawn on paper and then scanned in, which I think this actually was hand-drawn, scanned in, and then maybe like touched up. Because like that, you can definitely tell like that shading is like, I don't know, it looks very like colored in with like colored pencils or markers or something. But like not too much to be like really that distracting like it was edited really well to make it look like I don't know like all the other kits out there um, so I really liked this I love the framing in the background too I love that a lot I don't usually like that but it works well in some types of kits Coffee Doodles Co does a lot of framing with florals and stuff and like all of her boxes some of that I don't like, but um, in some kits it works really well. Here we are framing, making it look like there's like a bunch of cards, and there's like clip right on top of the cards, which I think is really works for this kit. So I love it. Um, this is obviously for Princess and the Frog. I actually just watched that movie for the second time the other day, and I loved it even more. I feel like I'm going to love it more and more each time I watch it, so I'm super into it. So here we have Mama Odie and her snake. That's a gorgeous drawing of Tiana, actually. That's like the perfect face. Like the rest of the rest of this, that neck's a little bit long. Like from here down, it's like eh. But that face and hair, like the artist really got that down. And then there is, I think Navina's the frog with his puckered lips, which is so funny. There's um, Tiana's gorgeous dress. Here we have. Louis and his trumpet. Um, there's Ray. He's so cute. And then Dr. Facilier's hat. It's an iconic hat. I don't think he's in the art anywhere, which is funny. Not even in the extra full boxes, which did come with this, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we have a quote box that says, dream hard, work harder. I live by that quote. Um, here we have, I think, like, the background, but I think it's like a tarot card. Um, here we have the friends on the other side, and then Prince Naveen. That's also a very good Prince Naveen. A better Prince Naveen than I think Tiana, because like every part of that looks, I guess, proportional. Anyway, love those extra full boxes. So like it's probably the first time I've gotten a Keytown kit with extra full boxes, so I really like that. Um, and then we have this functional page. Here we have the deco and date covers. I like this, oh, I like this deco a lot, actually, because, oh, there is Dr. Facilier, so he is there in the art. That's a nice surprise to me. So he's very good, Naveen's very good, Odie is, of course, perfect. Tiana looks better in that form when you can see her whole body. Like, this section of her doesn't look as, like, weird as it does when it's close up, but I do love that dress a lot, so I'm glad we have that one and this one. Although, I don't think she's in frog form anywhere in the kit. It's just Naveen who's in a frog form. But then we get everybody else. So, I'm loving that deco. That is the kind of deco I want. Where you can see the full full bodies of people where they're cut off in the full boxes. I think Andrea from Squirrel Prince Co. does that a lot too. And I love that. Oh, here we have both of them. Oh, that's good. I was hoping that we would kind of get to see her, like, in the dress and everything. Like, her whole body instead of, like, with her head cut off. So, I like this a lot, actually. And then there's Ray. That's so cute. Oh my god. So that, I love. Love this a lot. So this is, look, looks like old format as well. That's a nice fleur de lis as the checkbox. Yep, old format little things. 
and then washi and bottom washi that is some creepy bottom washi but i'm gonna have to use it anyway yeah i don't know i don't know about that bottom washi being a choice but i'm gonna have to use it because it's what it is and then here's the glitter hatters that come with it and our extra boxes and flags and icons don't ask me to remember the names of any of these kits. I do not remember at all, but if you want them, hopefully they are still in the final stock section and they haven't sold out yet, but no guarantees. It changes up, I don't think that frequently. At least I hope not. I think he announces whenever he changes, or like adds stuff to the final stock and like does a sale. I think he always announces it, so hopefully he does. Pay attention to his Instagram. So next we have the last two princess kits, which are the same art style, and it is art that has been used by other shops. So this was another repeat that I kind of didn't mean to buy. I actually already do have this art from Jalen Paper Co. I have the kit already. I actually like that kit a little bit better than this one, but again, this kit has some extra stuff in the full boxes that the other one didn't, so now I'm like... There really can't be anything wrong with having both now because there's extra stuff in both. So there's good stuff about both. So this is the Cinderella kit. I don't know, I really like this art style. It's kind of like unique. Like I haven't really seen this type of style anywhere else. It's kind of like the mid-tier CGI of like animation. Like it's more advanced than like looking hand drawn like this kit but it's not like super duper trying to be realistic like this like this is right in the middle like it, it really looks like early CGI kind of like definitely looks more 3D and more realistic but not like photorealistic so I don't know that's my little film buff comparison but yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Although those mice have like really dead eyes and the horses have dead eyes and I don't like that. But at least Cinderella has very lively eyes, so that's good enough. Anyway, our quote box says that like there's no midnight and there's um, the back of these slippers right there. Here's one of these slippers. I love that butterfly on the slippers. That's kind of fun. The butterfly is flying around. That's a nice touch. We have our three mice. Um, what are the names? Jacques and Gus Gus. She has a name, although it's like never mentioned I don't think I, I feel like it was like a trivia question in one of um, the Super Carlin Brothers videos like one of their trivia videos like what's her name but obviously I instantly forgot it because I don't think it's mentioned in the movie but it like is a fun fact but she has a name it might be something like Betsy I feel like it's not Betsy I feel like that was one of the wrong choices but Barbara maybe I feel like it starts with a B for sure let me know if you know it because that'd be interesting to see who actually knows her name but I know those two. Um, and then we have gorgeous Cinderella right here. I love that hairstyle. I'm all about that. I just love her like being blonde and having the blue dress. Like that will always get me. I love I just love blue dresses like the shade of blue. Like the blue dress that Tiana was wearing in this one. I love that one as well. All about the blue dresses. Um, here we have our clock, almost midnight, double box scene of the carriage and the horses, and then a close-up of our sewing thread, a needle, and buttons. So I love all that. The framing and format of these full boxes could be better, but at least we're including a lot of clip art. So, again, it works. Here's our extra boxes. Ooh, look at that. Look at how, like, wide her dress is. Like, gosh dang, how long did it take to draw all those ruffles? Probably forever. But yeah, I love all this little clip art here. It's a different clock. That's interesting to have a different clock than this one. I mean, you could just easily include this clock in the deco. And there's our date covers, um, boxes, so this looks like new format. Checklists with the little slipper. I almost wish I used these checklists because he changes the icon with each one to make it appropriate. So I'm missing out on that. Our bottom washi and little things, definitely new format. Or I guess headers I meant. And then little things. And this gorgeous bottom washi. Love that bottom washi. And the sparkle. And our habit trackers. And then here is the header. Yeah, headers. Which are the same kind of star pattern. 
which is not glittery at all, but I still like it. But like, it's all the same, so I would definitely pull in some other types of headers, like maybe leftover glitter headers from somewhere else, or um, simply go to washi. I might even do both, might spice things up, but yeah, I do like the pattern though. So there is the Cinderella kit. So I might try to space out when I use the previous art that I already have in this art, or I guess it's the same art, but the, the different kits I might space out so it doesn't get too boring and repetitive in my planner. Same with this last one, which is Brave. Although I don't have the other Brave kit from Jalen Paper Co. I may have it bookmarked, I just haven't bought it. But I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Because now I already have this one. So who knows, I don't remember what the full boxes of the other kit looks like. So this is the same artist for Brave. I don't remember how many other ones she's done. I don't think there's too many other princesses that she's done at least that shops have used the art for. So that would be interesting. I'm going to have to go back and see if there's any more. But um, I do like it. She just she looks really modern like that. Like I could totally see that. I don't know. She looks more like a Disney princess in this in this drawing than um, in this art that she does in like the Pixar movie because it's Pixar and like I don't know. She looks a little bit different from the other princesses. Um, so yeah, here we have our quote box: "Be brave, go forth and conquer." We have the crown and I guess a pendant of the bears. Her three little brothers as bears. They're the cutest characters, both as bears and humans. They are just, I cannot get over them. They are so adorable, so funny. I love it. And then of course there's her mom as a bear and she's doing a little thing with her hands and she has the crown. I love this movie so, so much. Like, I'm obsessed with this movie, honestly. I wish it had more music that I liked, although I will sing that, um, that like Scottish song or whatever. I actually looked up the pronunciation so I can sing along with it, and I've actually got it pretty well down, but I think it's called Noble Maiden Fair, but like, I love that song, but I wish it was more music that I liked in this, like more music that you could sing to, but it's still like an amazing movie otherwise. Here we have the Will of the Wisps, which is super cute. We have a an axe, and then here's the tapestry of all of them. I did notice that for some reason when she made the tapestry she made it really easy for herself to be cut out because she's not overlapping with anybody else like why would you make yourself stand so much apart instead of like there or something I don't know I feel like that was kind of a little bit too convenient for the plot to happen but oh well <laughs> it's still a really lovely movie and whenever I watch it I tend to speak in a Scottish accent for the rest of the day because um Merida's bra voiced by What's her name? It's like Kelly McDonald or McDowell or something. Kelly McSomething. And she like voices like pretty much every Scottish person that you know ever in anything. And I just love her accent so much. And it's really hard not to imitate. So, <laughs> yeah. I talk to myself a lot in Scottish accent. It's weird. I, it used to be British and now it's Scottish because she's just everywhere. Anyway, I know I keep waving this in front of your face. Sorry, let's move on. Here is the functional page, our deco, that is some enormous deco. I like how this is in there though because that's not in the full boxes and that's a little tart that she made to um, turn her mom into a bear. And there's some more of the tarts right there, it's so funny, that's so cute. We have the sword in there as well, so there's some extra bonus um, clip art there in the deco so I like that although there is some really big deco that I don't know how easy it is going to be to put into the spread but I will find a way our date covers and here's this I like this so I guess in old format you get this big box but in the new format you don't so that's kind of interesting I didn't realize that before so that is missing from the new format but that's really cute anyway um oh yeah and the scripts and the icons I guess were taken out too and the work headers. So this whole page, I guess, was removed. I don't think that's too much of a loss because I don't use these scripts really at all. I don't use these icons. I do use the work labels when they're included, but honestly, when you have as many little things as like, as come with these kits, I, I don't think it's too much of a loss. So there's our checklists, boxes and labels little things and headers probably saved him a lot of um, money and printing and time to um, to cut out that whole page 
and then a bottom washi and washi strips. Wait, so this is, no, this is for old format, I already said that. Anyway, and then here are the glare headers with that. Um, looks like a very, like, looks like sand. It looks like a very sandy gold glitter, which is interesting. And it's the color of, like, dark sand, too. I guess it works, although I'm kind of sad it's all one color. So, again, I'll probably try to pull in different colors and types of headers from other places. But that's what comes with it. And that is it. That is the Brave Kit or the Merida Kit, whatever it is. Again, they don't have the titles on them, and I don't remember them. So, whoopsie. But yeah, so that's Keytown. I actually finished this earlier than expected, so I think I am just going to go ahead and go over one more order. Which is a really tiny order, so it'll work. And this is the once more with love order that I have. This was from like the flash sale that was like supposed to be 20 minutes long or something like that, but she ended up extending it because of course she does because of internet issues. But like I feel like she was also just being nice probably. But um yeah, so she had a little flash sale for like 20% and she never has sales that big, so I had to jump on it. She doesn't even have like a normal sale code, so 20% is like a huge deal for her shop. So I had to get a few things that I hadn't gotten before. Um, this top sheet that I really needed, actually. So just had to get that. Anyway, here is the journaling card. Follow your heart and it will lead you back to you. I feel like she does this a lot. She like makes these little cute journaling cards with like sayings that I feel like sometimes don't really mean a lot. I don't know. That was kind of weird, but that was cute. So... She always does these little cute passages, though, on the back, so you can pause that and read that if you like. Very inspiring, though. Can't falter for that. And I did put Super Oops in the notes, and she always, like, goes overboard with her Super Oops lately. So I have, like, four Oops sheets, or I guess one is Super Oops and then two are Oops. So, super generous. She also threw in this Oops freebie. This is so this is from March. It is an Oops because there is a smudge mark on the logo, although it's pretty easy for me to cut that part out and not use it because I don't really use that part anyway, but I love these other stickers here. I actually don't think I have any sheets with these stickers on them, so this is like the tired freebie. It's so like falling asleep at your laptop, um, I guess being worried, maybe forgot something, um, too tired, and dragging your pillow, I guess, waking up, and then here it is not being able to wake up at all and being dragged by another person, which was my dad waking me up by dragging me out of the bed, like, pretty much my whole childhood, because I was a sleeper, I still am a sleeper, um, and then here we have an oops sheet, which is the tattoo sheet, now, I don't have tattoos, I don't want tattoos, I'm not really against the idea of tattoos, I'm more of a piercings person, so, like, I'm not, like, unadventurous. I am pretty adventurous. I have 16 ear piercings, eight in each ear, so that's more my thing, just not tattoos. I don't know. I much prefer the idea of temporary tattoos where I can change them up as needed or as wanted, so I can't really see myself using this sheet. It is also not cut, so these are her new oops pages that she's been doing where the only thing is they're just not cut for some reason. So, yeah, anyways, I guess I will just be straight desashing this, so if somebody wants to take the time to cut this, they can go ahead and do that, but I won't be using it, so I won't be cutting it. Here's the other oops sheet, which is, like, part of the Totoro Hope of Weeks kit. It does have a cute, a few cute elements on it that I will probably be cutting out. Um, I will probably cut out those to use maybe with, um the one of the Totoro kits that I do have or like the Studio Ghibli kits because like they're cute I guess I'll use them and then these little icons I will be cutting out too the rest of it I will probably not but I'll take the time to cut out those because like it's not that much to cut out and then the Super Oops is the Wacky Holidays it's the second Wacky Holidays sheet I've gotten as the Super Oops I always just go ahead and stick them back in the month that it was that it applied to Although I'm pretty sure I've taped this month shut by now, so I won't be able to, but it's kind of cute. 
I feel like a lot of these would still apply for this year's October Wacky Holidays, just maybe not on the corresponding dates. So I could probably still use this for October. I don't think I've taped this October shut yet. I just like using them. I just think it's funny. So yeah, I'll probably save this and do that in there, even though I will never look at it. <laughs> I just think it's fun to put stickers down. So that'll be that. And now for the actual order, we have the August freebie. I love this little Scooby-Doo character right here. I haven't seen the new animated movie. I don't think I've seen any of the original animated movies either for Scooby-Doo, although I feel like I would like them. I don't know. It's just never been on my radar, but like there is a Scooby-Doo kit that I want from somewhere. I think I have it saved as like a printable kit. I don't even know, but it's on one of my wish lists. I think my Etsy wish list. So I want to do a Scooby-Doo kit and I guess I will have to watch some Scooby-Doo for that. So I will. Here we have a little munchkin shivering in a blanket. I'm probably going to use that for like watching scary movies, TBH. Um, a little weir wheelchair munchkin. I might even use that for my grandma actually because she's the only one I know who uses a wheelchair to get around sometimes just to make it easier. She can walk short distances. Um, and here we have a munchkin on the computer and I guess planning. So that could be used for like work or planning or really anything but it's like super Halloween themed and I love it. I love the spider hanging off the laptop. It's super cute. So here's the August freebie. I love how like everybody's just decided that August is time to get spooky and like September 1st is the official time to get spooky. So yeah, I guess Halloween is two months now, <laughs> which I guess is not an issue for anybody else. So I did get a few mini sheets. So these two are both refills. I already have probably a couple of these mini sheets already, but I'm going to be going through them so fast now because I'm not really bookkeeping so much anymore. I am like this week a lot because I'm covering for everybody, it seems, but mostly I'm not. I'm out there in the front end of my grocery store that I work at um, doing like either the express lane or self-checkout, so I just tend to use this for that. So I'll be needing to mark that a lot more as we get into the new year the new planner because I'm so behind a back planning so I just wanted to have more of those to have on hand um I did get one more of the mini occupations I got the pharmacist because sometimes I go to the pharmacy just to talk to my pharmacist about something or um ask for something to be refilled and because there's always a lot of issues I go to CVS instead of like the Safeway pharmacy even though I work at Safeway it just doesn't really make sense that I'm still at CVS but I just I'm used to CVS I know CVS I don't like new things so there's always a lot of issues with CVS, so sometimes I need to mark just going in there to talk to them. I don't want to use like a medication one for that because I'm not getting medication. So I just thought it would be handy to have a just a pharmacist sticker. So there's that. And the rest of the mini sheets are food. There's a few more on my list that I still want, but these are just the ones I thought I would be needing sooner. So here's the Froyo ice cream cup. Sometimes I get ice cream in like a cup or in like a like a little pint of ice cream from the store instead of a cone, so I wanted to be able to mark that, and when um, I visit my parents, we always go to, what's it called, um, it's not Red Mango, or it's like one of those places where like, you get frozen yogurt, and you get to like pick your own, and you get to put all the toppings on it, there's like, one of them's called like some Orange Leaf, I think Orange Leaf is the one we always go to, but there's a lot of different places like that, I love them a lot, but man, it's always like thousands of calories when I go because I literally put on everything. So anyways, this will be used to mark that too. And then of course I had to get the burrito because I realized I don't actually have a ton of burrito stickers. I have like maybe two that I use regularly and sometimes I just need more variation than that. So here's another burrito sticker for me and a croissant. I don't really eat croissants a lot, but I didn't have any individual croissant stickers. So I wanted to be able to mark that. And then rice. I just thought these rice noodles were super cute. Can't really imagine when I would mark them because I always like make fried rice or have rice as a side dish to something, but they were too cute not to get. And then soup. Another thing I, I guess I have. I get canned soup from the store and have it for dinner sometimes, but I have made soup once. I want to get more into making soup. So I didn't really have any individual soup stickers either. So there's one of those. Now let's get into the big sheets. So, first of course we have power outage. This was the one sheet I really needed that I can't believe I didn't get in my previous order. It just wasn't on my wish list for some reason, although it was on my mental wish list because 
I need this a lot. I live in the Bay Area of California, in case you did not already know, and we get power outages a ton due to weather, due to PG&E messing up or shutting power off preemptively because the weather might get bad and might cause major issues. It's just very common, especially at this time of year. We recently just had one um, right at the same time that there was the thunderstorm that had 12,000 lightning strikes in 72 hours that started all of the awful California Bay Area wildfires that just happened. So that was pretty scary. You may have heard about it in a recent video that I talked about a little bit. But yeah, so that was the power outage. And I didn't have any stickers for that last year and it was really annoying. Because I had to like use candle stickers or something even though I don't have candles and I don't like candles. But um, now it's nice to have like an actual dedicated power outage sticker for that. Because I know I'm going to need to be marking it for this year. So there's that. And I probably will need this full sheet. Um, here we have YouTube binge. I do have some YouTube binge stickers but... I can always have more. I thought this was too cute because I've been to YouTube most days of the week. Phone call. I always need more phone call stickers as well because my parents and my grandma call me a lot and my best friend calls me a lot. So there's these. Super cute. Um, FaceTime and Skype. Same sort of thing. Sometimes my parents will FaceTime me and I also FaceTime Sage kind of regularly now. So I wanted something else to mark that. I already have a lot of FaceTime stickers, but again, you can always have more for more variety. Of course, I had to get the shark stickers because I'm obsessed with sharks, even more so recently because I watched a little bit of Shark Week and I've gotten some more shark stuffed animals and I'm just, I've just reinvigorated my love for sharks. So I had to get these shark stickers. Um, I think these are meant for like actual Shark Week. So there's like some with like cramps, not actual, but like when it's that time of the month. So there's some that look like you're dying from like cramps and stuff but so I could use it for that but also just for my love of sharks so super cute like shark onesies firefighters this kind of goes hand in hand with the power outage ones I just wanted to be able to mark the fires in my planner somehow it was either this or like the dumpster fire sheet which would have been really funny but I just thought this one was more appropriate to honor the actual firefighters that came just in time to save my neighborhood from being caught on fire it was four miles away and they put up their protective lines kind of just in time to stop it from spreading further south and destroying the school and then destroying me so super thankful to them I had to get this for them and then lastly um I just realized I don't have enough like just buying stuff online stickers so I just need to pick up those where I see them because I have a lot of shopping stickers like that but not a lot of buying online stickers so that's kind of what that is for but the rest are just kind of fun so there's the last one from this order it's a little teeny tiny order my wish list still has a lot of sheets on it but I'm making a dent in it with each little order so there is that from once more with love and that is it for this haul so I do have a little bit more off to the side here that I'm gonna go over for my next haul and then I do have a lot of orders still to come in most of them haven't shipped yet which is really annoying to me but we will see they will all come in eventually so I might actually have to maybe take a break from doing hauls for like a week or two to wait for them all to come in but I will try to keep it going for y'all by talking a lot which I already clearly do so <laughs> don't worry there will still be pretty regular hauls anyway Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for getting me to over 660 subscribers, which is super amazing. I love all y'all. I'm super thankful for y'all. All the comments you leave answering my questions just makes my day when I see that kind of engagement. And also thank you for helping me reach 600 Instagram followers if you are one of those followers. Thank you so, so much. That also makes me incredibly happy. Also, just to keep you updated, I am still going to do a giveaway. I know it was supposed to be for 500 subs, but that didn't happen. Um, I just, I need more time to really just gather everything together that I want to get for this giveaway. And I'm hoping that it will be ready in like maybe a couple weeks by the time it is my birthday. So I could do kind of a birthday slash 500 slash 600 followers giveaway. Just whatever. Just my next giveaway will be around that time, I'm hoping. Um, honestly, this video might go up like a week before that happens or whatever, but we will see. It's still in the plans. I haven't forgotten about it. 
so just keep an eye out for that anyway so that is it thank you so much for watching if you want to like comment subscribe and share and get me closer to 700 that would be super duper fantastic and i will see you in my next video ciao ciao